Good afternoon. This is a very important message to anybody in South Africa who's doing online banking. Now, I've been doing online banking since 1997. I happen to have worked on the technical teams that implemented the online banking solutions for NetBank and for FNB in April 1997. And then I worked for APSA in 2001-2002 running the IT security for internet banking. I then worked for FNB again in 2003 also in the IT security team. My main responsibilities was uh, making sure that hackers couldn't get into the internet banking platforms and therefore I have a, a quite a deep understanding of the technical nature of information security. Now in South Africa um, there is an entrepreneur by the name of Christo Devil who launched a product called 227 and it's been receiving rave reviews from a lot of uh, social media gurus and technology bloggers. I would like to caution you against using this service. The biggest flaw is really in the fact that um, you have to enter in your username and password for your online banking and APSA has made a very good decision in blocking access outright to the service provider. Uh, what does it do? From what I can read about them online, they offer a financial um, personal planning solution so that you can better plan your finances. Now, why they need access to your internet banking, I don't understand because um, most internet banking, in fact all internet banking solutions, offer you the opportunity of downloading your statements. By downloading your statements either as a PDF or as what's called a common delimited file, you can import that into various accounting packages as it stands. So this to me would be a much more logically um, safer option to use instead of real-time access to online banking software. The danger in this is that uh, you are allowing a third party, meaning someone besides yourself or your bank, access to your banking information, your banking records, your banking transactions. And as you know with computer systems, there are many points of failures. If you know what I know about the passwords that were used in the major banks during the period that I worked for them from 2001 to 2003, you'd be really scared. But I'm sure things have improved uh, sufficiently in terms of their own internal policies and procedures. But I have some major concerns about uh, Crystal Devil. I don't think a lot of people remember that 2020 a bank that he created an internet bank that he created about 10 years ago to compete with the big four banks this is before Capitec and African Bank took off um, was a failure how do I know that I was a customer of 2020 and I was one of their supporters because I, I was looking for an alternative something with lower fees something that was sim simple and simplistic and uh, they, they offered many of those benefits but once the company was bought out by Standard Chartered, the complexity, complexity started to increase. So if Crystal Devil is such a successful entrepreneur, then um, how come 2020 was such a big failure? Now I would really caution you just against keeping your private information private, the same way you wouldn't give your best friend, your internet banking login and password. I don't think that um, 27 um, or 227 is worthy of um, that level of access <coughs> to your private information. So please, if you have any experience with this company, um, I really uh, would love to hear from you and I'd love to get feedback from anybody that has tried it. But I fully support APSA whom I have worked for and I disagree with F&B for embracing this uh, product offering. This is, this is inf uh, territory that I think is 
um, I think what some would call sacrosanct. It's sacrosanct. So it is one of those things that you would never share with people, you should never share with people, and you should keep it as private and confidential as possible. We have a huge, tremendous increase in fraud and internet um, uh, abuse um, as more and more people start accessing the internet globally and in South Africa. I recently did an interview on Channel Islam discussing the top 10 threats, threats that people face on the internet. And as more and more people start doing transactions online, I think it becomes uh, an even bigger challenge. It becomes even more of an issue when it comes to sharing your personal private information. So this was Ramon Thomas. You can read more about me on my blog, ramonthomas.com, and I'm available to speak to you, um, to consult with you privately, and to speak to your company, to speak to your um, school, your church. So please feel free to post your comments and questions about uh, 22-7 and Christo Devil. I'll be very happy to get any feedback and any uh, opinions and questions and comments from people. Thank you.